be a matter of life and death for thousands of turtle hatchlings along our coast. Volunteers from a local conservation group have spent much of the week scouring beaches to rescue baby turtles and save nests from rough waves, all of this stirred up by Hurricane Earl. News Channel 5's Roe Norman shows us how successful they've been. Earl's waves have stripped away parts of many beaches, and it's that sand that protects a sea turtle's nest. It's always day to day. We, we um, go with what we see. So if we see a nest, that's when we see eggs partially exposed, we'll relocate. Volunteers patrol about a two-mile area of the beach at Ocean Reef Park on Singer Island. Group members are trained and have the proper permits and authorization with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission to conduct nesting surveys. Yeah, I'm sure some nests are getting washed out. Fortunately, a lot of our nests that were close to the uh, tide line were already relocated. But I did have a, another um, person on the beach tell me that they saw a few eggs up, up a little bit further north that were just looked like they were washed out. Kristen Lawson with the Sea Turtle Conservation League of Singer Island believes about 5% of the eggs or hatchlings in the patrolled beach area were lost as a result of the recent wave of activity in the tropics. The nests are able to handle a, a certain amount of water washing over them. The Loggerhead Marine Life Center says if you see a hatchling in distress, bring it to them. They will nurture it until it's strong enough to be released to a safe and secure area close to or in the Gulf Stream. Roe Norman, WPTV News Channel 5.